Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. In this video, we will be removing and reinstalling the cruise control switches on a 2009 Chevy Suburban. If you need any parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. We're going to remove the airbag. Before we do that, we want to make sure we take the key out, make sure the steering wheel is straight with the wheels going straight ahead, and we're going to disconnect the battery. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter wrench. We're going to disconnect the negative post on the battery. Just loosen this up a little bit. And I can grab it and wiggle it back and forth. Take it and put it, up, tuck it out of the way. Once the battery's disconnected, before we go to work on the airbag, we want to wait one minute. That will drain all the capacitors uh, out of the modules, and it'll be safe to work on. Okay. To disconnect the airbag, we're going to need a blunt tool. Um, this was actually a straight pick that had broken anyway, so we just filed down a little bit to make it flat. So. What you're going to do is right in this hole over here, you're going to have to feel around and I'll show you once I pull the airbag out where it is, but there is a little spring that you have to push on that retains the airbag in there. It's somewhat difficult to do. Got to feel around for it. And then push a little pressure and then pull. And we're going to do the same with the other side. You push that down and this pulls right up. And this is where it's clipped in. And I'll show you those little springs in here. As you can see, my blunt tool is in here, so you have to feel around here, and when it's in place, you're pushing that in. It's somewhat difficult to do, but if you feel around, you can, you can push it in. To disconnect the connectors, I'm gonna use a straight blade tool. Just get underneath this lock right here use a pick also. Pull that out. And pull the other one out as well. Just get under there. Pull that. You can actually just pull it up. The other one pulled out completely. And then there's two retainers here, uh, two locks. I'm going to push those in. I'm going to use my finger for one, the screwdriver for the other, and then I'll pull out. See, those are the two locks. And then same with the white one. Pull that out. And we can pull the airbag out. We want to set this down on a bench, just like this. Make sure there's nothing electrical near it. You do not want to set it on its face. I'm going to take a flat blade screwdriver and disconnect this connector. We'll just pry it up a little bit. Try to pull it off. Just like that. Put that out of your way. Next, we're going to pull this plate out. Uh, we're going to take these four Torx screws out. We're going to use a T30 socket with an extension and a ratchet. And we can pull that out. Now this whole bracketry is going to come up together. I'm going to grab right here on top and pull up. Slightly. There's little tabs in here. 
that lock it in. I'm gonna grab this side because they're connected. Pull it up. There's some electrical connectors we're gonna disconnect. One right here. I'm gonna move the wires over here. Push down on this connector. Pull it out. I'm gonna grab this wire right here. Pull it down. I'm gonna use some needle nose pliers. Just grab on. Push it down. Like that. There's a connector right here. Grab this with needle nose pliers. Push it down. Disconnect it like there. And then this one right here. Push it towards the front of the vehicle. Grab it like that. Pull it. You could also take these off with some Torx. And disconnect this connector. Get this wiring harness around that clip. Push down and pull it up. We can pull this out completely. We're gonna take the cruise control switches off. These are the steering controls. Um, you can disconnect these fasteners, but you don't have to. Um, just be careful, because this is flimsy. So we'll flip it over. We've got these two screws here. They're Torx bits. It's a T15, so we'll use a driver. Remove these two. And you can pull it straight up. There is two tabs right there, or well, one tab. And there's your cruise control switches. Okay, we're gonna reinstall our cruise control switches. Line Line this up right here. And then we're gonna put the two screws back in. Use our T15 driver to secure the screws down. Then we can put this back on the steering wheel. Now we're gonna reinstall this. Take your connector. Connect this into this side. Lock it in. Then move the wiring harness around this holder tab. And we can push this connector terminal on right here. We're going to do the same for this one. Push that on. I'm going to push this terminal on here like that and then this connector will go right here and then the wire will go around this little holder All right. these little lock tabs need to line up with the holes there's two on this side and two on the other side when you get those all lined up then you can push down gently and it'll lock in place Next, we're going to install this bracket. Like that. Line the bolt holes up. We'll take our T30 on our socket and extension. Get these all started first. Now we're going to tighten these all down. Try to bring them down all pretty evenly. Do a couple turns on this one, a couple turns on this one. We'll snug all these down. Those are tight. Now we're gonna reconnect this wire right here. This lock popped off when we were taking it out, so we're gonna put that back in first. It's gonna go 
one like that. I don't want to push it all the way down. Just get it just in there like that. Now we'll reconnect our airbag. Um, so there's grooves in these terminals. Um, you can see there's two on there. You can see on the airbag, two grooves on that side. So this one goes in like this. And once that clicks, then you can push the lock down like that. And then this white one has one groove. And the groove goes right there. Lock that and lock it. And the airbag's in the right position. Make sure the wires aren't pinched or anything. We can push it. And then we're going to line these two little tabs up with those holes. Push it down. And we're going to reconnect our battery. Grab the negative cable. Hook it back up. Now I'm going to use my 10 millimeter wrench to tighten down the nut. Not too tight. You don't want to break the terminal. Tight it and check it, make sure it doesn't wiggle. Seems good. So we're gonna turn the key on. Uh, you want your body not pressed right up against the airbag. Um, it, it, this is a safe repair. It should not go off, but just in case something does happen, you want your body further away. So you can turn the key on. And we're gonna look at the airbag light right here and it should flash seven times and then go out. And it did. And that means your airbag system is working properly. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.